Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can forward or transfer your WhatsApp messages to Telegram automatically. So guys, if you are tired of juggling between different messaging applications and you are losing the important messages, this automation is for solving this problem only. Here, we are going to connect WhatsApp with Telegram and you can see your WhatsApp messages as well as your Telegram messages in a single application. You don't have to manually switch between these two applications anymore. Okay, so, and we are going to set up this automation without any coding super simply. So let's begin. So we are setting up this automation using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I'm going to paste the link of this landing page in the description. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the Pabli Connect product. And you will see the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as a WhatsApp to telegram after, all right after giving the name just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page guys you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so with the help of these two things only we are going to set up the automation so trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the automated consequence or the response of the trigger so in our use case guys receiving a message in whatsapp's inbox is going to act as a trigger and the response would be to send the same message on telegram so guys <clears throat> here we are using interact application which is a business solution provider for whatsapp and with the help of interact we are receiving the messages in a shared inbox of interact okay so guys suppose that you have created a whatsapp chatbot for helping your customers okay using interact application or you are using whatsapp as a customer support or crm using interact here you can see in interact application this is called as a shared inbox here you can track the messages coming from your customers you can reply to the customers as well okay so here what we are going to do in the trigger we are going to search for interact application Okay, then in the trigger event, we are going to use this customer messages slash template send status. Okay. And it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to create a connection with our shared inbox. And after that, we are going to capture a incoming message of any customer. Okay. So here you need to follow these steps to create this connection. So you can read here, you need to go to the settings of uh, interact then in the developer settings let me show you that this is in my interact account on the bottom left hand side you will find the settings here click on settings again from here click on developer settings and here guys you can see uh, when you scroll down you will find this webhook configured option so a connection is already configured here i'm going to edit this same uh, webhook configuration okay and here you will find this webhook url field here you have to paste this webhook URL. So you just have to, first of all, let me remove this already pasted URL. Okay. And you can see it is showing webhook URL is a required field. So I'm going to click on copy here. Okay. And here you can see I have copied and it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. So first of all, let's create the connection. I'm pasting the URL here. Okay. Then you have to check these boxes for your uh, you know, for ensuring when you want to capture the response, when a when the status of a message is sent or delivered or read or failed, it will work on everything. Okay, if you check all the boxes. So right now, I, you can select when you want to capture the data. I'm just going to select all the box boxes right now and clicking on submit. And here you can see the webhook is configured successfully here. And you can test the webhook by performing any of the actions that you have selected. Okay, so you can close this window now. And now let me come back to my inbox. So guys, here you can see 
as you have created the connect as you complete the connection it will show you this kind of response here that the webhook test is complete and this is the timestamp okay now what we are going to do we are going to actually capture a real message coming to our inbox in our whatsapp okay for that i'm going to click on recapture webhook response button okay then i'm going to click on yes and it will start showing waiting for the webhook response again now with the help of my smartphone i am going to open my whatsapp in my smartphone and i am going to message on this number uh, which is connected with interact account from which we have created a customer support for our customers okay so i have saved this number here okay or uh, and i am already in conversation with my uh, customer support so on the behalf of a uh, customer i am going to send a sample message using my smartphone and as i am going to send it the message will be captured here in this response section okay so let me show you that so guys i have sent the message and you can see we have received the response of the message also in this section you can see guys the type is message received okay this is the time of the receiving of the message and here you can this you can see in this message label we have received the whole message and the message is this hello we are testing this message for telegram integration this is the same message i have sent and you can see this same message in the shared inbox of interact also you can see guys we have received a message here hello we are testing this message for telegram integration and this is the automated reply sent from interact okay so this is how you can capture a message now i want to transfer this message to telegram for that we are going to connect telegram here in the section step <clears throat> okay and the action event would be send a text message or reply so you, i'm using a markdown format here and click on connect from here select and new connection and here it will ask for the token to be entered here to connect with telegram now you need to follow these instructions to get this token of telegram so first of all you need to create a bot inside uh, the telegram which is going to deliver this message for you in a group in which you are conversing okay so this is my telegram application here guys in the search bar you have to search for telegram bot sorry not telegram bot bot father okay so you have to search for bot father and you will get this blue tick bot father icon here you have to open this and here you have to message slash new bot slash new bot to create a new bot okay so it will reply like this all right a new bot how are we going to call it so i'm going to name a bot as whatsapp bot okay it and now it has replied good now let's choose a username for your bot and it must end in bot for example tetris bot or tetris underscore bot so let's say i am giving the name here as what underscore one underscore bot okay all right so you can see we got a new bot created okay this is a username and this is the name of the bot and here we got the access token that we needed to connect with pably connect okay so you just have to copy this token copy paste it here and then click on save and we'll be connected with telegram all right so we are connected and here it is asking the chat id of the group in which you are uh, getting the in which you want to get the messages transferred okay so you will get the chat id when you open the group so let me just open this group this is my group telegram one two three four and when you open it on the top search bar you will see this string of numbers after this hashtag sign with this minus sign okay so you just have to copy this whole string of numbers this is actually the chat id copy it and paste it here like this okay now it is asking for the text message so before transferring the text message let me tell you that you have to add this bot that you have created this bot uh, whatsapp bot you have to add this bot as an admin of this group here okay because this bot is only is going to send the messages for you in the group so you have to add this bot inside this group and promote it as admin so you can 
easily do this with the help of your smartphone. So let me do that. I cannot show you that screen, but you can do it. And after that, we are going to move forward. Okay. So guys, you can see I have added this WhatsApp bot here as an admin. Now here guys come to the workflow and here it is asking which text message you want to send. So here I'm going to map this message label that we have received here in this first step. Okay. So that we can transfer the messages automatically. So just map this data message message label. Okay. So here you just have to click and you can see the previous step or the trigger is appearing here in the drop down. So when you click on it, you will receive all the data here only. And from here, just map this message label. Okay. Then you can enable or disable the notifications for these kind of messages. Okay. I'm enabling this. We are not sending any links. So I'm selecting this option as no. Okay. And now you can check your connection with telegram by clicking save and send test request button. And this message will be sent here like this automatically. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. Okay. So here it is showing an error and it is showing that we cannot send this full stop character in this message. Okay. So because we have selected the markdown option, it is, that's why it is showing the error. You can select HTML option as well. And then you can click on connect one more time from here, select add new connection or uh, what you can do every connection that you make here with, uh, with any application is saved in your account. So if you want to make the connection again, you can use your saved connections as well. For that, you just have to keep this existing connection option selected. And here it will show you the list of your saved connections. You can uh, select from here and then click on save one more time and you will be connected again. Now you just have to enter the chat ID. Let me just copy the chat ID again. Paste it here. Text message, map it. Okay. Notifications. Yes. Now let me click on save and send test request one more time. And this is the response we have received guys. Let's see in our telegram group if we have received a message and here we got a new message and it is delivered by WhatsApp bot. And this is the same message that we have mapped here in the workflow. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, whenever you are going to receive a message from your customers on your WhatsApp chat bot, those messages will be delivered here on your telegram group automatically and you can remain in synchronization with WhatsApp and you do not have to open your WhatsApp also. Okay. You will see the messages in telegram only. Okay. And guys, you can use this workflow as I'm going to paste the link of this work workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.